Hey everyone, welcome back to another Angelo Reviews Shoes. Uh, today we're looking at the Cortese Air Max 95, or 110s as they're better known as in the UK. Uh, this shoe released exclusively on the Cortese website on the 10th of March uh, this year and cost £170. This shoe was also a Cortese website exclusive and wasn't released on the sneakers app. I'd like to say a, a big thank you to everyone that watched my previous videos. Um, I thought this was a unique shoe, so I thought I'd do it next. When the shoe dropped, it sold out in minutes and it was quite hard to get, but luckily I managed to get my hands on a pair. The shoe released in three colours. The one here is the gutter green, which was on the Cortez website, and that was exclusive to the website. Um, there was a hot pink, which released in New York, and there was a bodega drop, which had people running across the streets, grabbing bikes, trying to get there. And finally, there was a Aegean Storm pair, which was a blue, and that released exclusively in Paris. Similar thing where we had, we had people chasing the bus to try and get these shoes. All three pairs did release on the Cortese website, and I think the blue and the pink got a release on sneakers. Now onto the history of the shoe. As you can see on the tongue of the shoe, there's the Alcatraz logo. This logo has been synonymous with the Cortese brand, um, and it also comes with the Cortese phrasing that's on here. Another logo the brand likes to use is this C with the star. Um, this is also all over their clothes and you'll see a mixture of these uh, across their apparel items. It's actually quite crazy that this shoe's actually come along considering that the brand has had some issues with Nike with Cortez being very close to Cortez, which is the, the classic Nike shoe. Um, so with that, there was some legal challenges put against the brand. With that in mind, it's quite surreal that we're looking at a collaboration right now. Uh, a bit of history about the brand. So uh, Cortese started in 2017 by Clint. Uh, it started in Northwest London and it sold clothes um, and it was done via drops via the website. The website is usually password protective and you need to sign up to get the password to get to the items first. Cortese is known for its uh, bolo jackets, which are the kind of North Face looking puffer jackets, as well as the cargo pants with the Alcatraz logo on the front. Cortez has a really unique way of doing drops, as you can see by the coordinates on the heel of the shoe. So the brand would use social media to post coordinates, usually in London, and it'd be a case of in, that would drop within 30 minutes and that would be where they would be selling their clothes. Uh, people would be flocking across the streets to try and get them as quantity was limited. These shoes in particular have uh, quite a bit of a uh, story behind them too. Uh, Clint actually did a uh, crossbar challenge to, to get these shoes. It was in West London. It had uh, people coming in and if they hit the crossbar, they'd win a pair of these for free. And I think if you did it in, in 95s, you got money too. The brand has gone from strength to strength and you'll usually see uh, this brand in music videos from Dave, Central Sea, and I think Stormzy wore a Cortese t-shirt at Glastonbury. Now onto the sizing. So uh, typically I go up half a size in my Air Maxes, um, especially Air Max 95s. The shoe fits uh, a bit narrow. However, if you've got a pair of Air Max 95s, I'd go with the, the size that you normally wear. Or if you've got a, a more narrow foot, you can go true to size. Now onto the details of the shoe. So there's quite a lot of details on this shoe, as you can see just by looking at it. First of all, you've got um, a 95 that looks like a utility model because there's no cage running through to the shoelaces. Um, and this is also a completely leather upper compared to the mesh that you normally get. The shoe is actually full of uh, Cortese logo. So um, as mentioned before, on the tongue, you've got the Alcatraz logo. Then you've got the uh, Cortese C with a star on the toe. Um, and then replacing the night tick, you've got uh, the Cortese logo. However, on the other side, you've got the the night tick, which is quite unique. Um, on the back of the heel, you've got coordinates, and I'll get onto uh, what they meant. I actually Googled them and, and found the address, but this is a, a little throwback to the way that Cortese does drops. The heel contains the coordinates that link to uh, Clint's house in uh, Stamford Hill. It was one that he got evicted from, and you can see just how much he's progressed since then with the brand and how it's grown over time. The shoe has a unique lining. As you can see, there's camo. Uh, this actually uh, links to the box as well as the sole of the shoe. As you can see, there's the Cortese logo in the camo on the bottom and it's a, a normal Air Max 95 sole. 
The shoe as normal contains 3M on the tongue here as well as on the heel. It really pops when you're walking. Um, I really like this style and the, and the green's a really unique color. So this really sets it out from the rest. As mentioned previously in my A Cold Wool uh, TN review, uh, I love shoes with leather wrappers. This makes a makes it one that you can wear in all weather and the rain won't soak through. It's also a really comfortable shoe. Onto the box. So this is a anniversary edition box. As you can see, they've got the Cortez logo just above the, uh, the Nike tick. Um, this box is pretty unique in the sense that it's got the Alcatraz logo all over it and that's with the paper filling as well as on the lid and the inside of the box. There's also branding on the side of the box too um, and the uh, box actually came with a, a drawstring bag. Uh, many of you that live in the UK will remember those bags that you got in JD time ago. Um, well, it's one of these types of bags. So it's got the Alcatraz logo on there and it's a real throwback. It's actually a, a nice tip to the old days where everyone needs to carry those around. Now on to a, a quick full rotation of the shoe. So here's the side of the shoe with the yellow uh, air bubbles. Here's the tongue and the top of the shoe. Here is the other side of the shoe with the night tick and here's the heel. I'll now go on to the on foot. Now on to my final thoughts. So um, I think this is a great shoe. Um, I like the color, even though it's not everybody's taste, it doesn't really go with a, a lot of outfits because of how bright the green is, but it does pop when you find the right one. Um, I love all the unique details of the shoe and it's one of those exclusive shoes that you probably won't see again. So it's always good to have in the collection. As mentioned before, I'm a massive fan of uh, leather uppers and this makes it an all weather shoe. I have a few pairs of 95s, the comfort's always on point, so that's another reason why I love this shoe. Um, it's one of those shoes you can wear all day and it won't ever let you down. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments on this shoe. Is this a, uh, a cop, even though it's sold out? I know it's going on the resale, but it would be extortionate prices. Do you like any of the details? Do you like any of the history? Or do you actually have a pair and you, you like wearing them? If you found this video interesting, feel free to give it a like and subscribe if you want to learn more about shoes and see some more of my reviews.